What's up everyone, Will and Ryan here from Mature Mining Gamers, and today we're going to be playing some Star Citizen. Uh, Ryan, what mission are we going to be trying to do here today? We're going to be trying one of the bunker missions, see if we can't help Hurston Security clear out a, clear out a facility. So, uh, excited for that, being able to do some uh, groundwork here, so this is just flying and delivering packages all the time. Yep. So what version are we playing right now? 1.5 uh, point? One. Yep. All right. Three, three point. 3.15 point one. Three point one five. So, and then the new pass is going to be supposedly dropping around the 17th of this month. Is that correct? Yep. And uh, pretty light when it comes to patch, when as patches go. But uh, uh, the ship to ship refueling just got delayed. So it's, we're not expecting that until 3.17 now, but 3.16 should come out. Going to start, start the process of overhauling the cargo system. Uh, area 18 is going to get their hospital like the uh, like the rest of the major cities have. Um, off the top of my head, I can't quite remember everything else that was going to happen. Uh, tomorrow starts the Christmas event. Luminaria is what they call it in the verse. Yep. So they those should be some about staying tuned on that shit. Yep. So there'll be some additional quests and things like that opportunities we think. To participate in Luminaria. So, what do you think of this game so far? I know you've been playing it quite a bit, and I've been playing it as much as you have, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, um, kind of like, okay, kind of like, so kind of like how people like spicy food. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you you might really like the flavor. I really like all the different ingredients, but maybe you're not a big fan of the burn. Well, that's kind of how this game is for me. I like all the flavor. I like all the ingredients. The bugs do get a little bit old at times, but the more familiarity you have with the game, the more you start to learn what you can and can't do. And uh, the bugs tend to sort of take care of themselves. Um, obviously, I wish things were a little bit easier when it came to, like, you know, shifting things in and out. And just, but... Um, but then it would just be a game. And I guess I don't really want to play a game. I'm, I want to do this, so. I do like the experience. I like the ships. The ships are cool to me. Um, oh, man, those price points on some of these. Yeah, yep. And, and you know, the, the fact that you can now use in-game money to buy, get, buy ships that will be persistent, at least through the alpha, beta, whatever. I May mean, not after release, but that's years and years and years away from now, I think. Um, it does give you some incentive to, to, to do some additional quests. And sure. I don't have enough. Okay, I'm headed back to New Babbage now because I need to park the ship. From all of us at Microtech. I'm not sure. All right, I'm grabbing my anvil now. Because you don't have a, a two man, is that correct? Correct. Um, and I have the Anvil C8, the uh, C8X Pisces Expedition. Be sure to visit that's a good ship. Yeah, I think I spent, I want to say $40 on it when I, I think it's the only thing I've really kind of invested in this game so far. I know there's ships that are, what, several thousand dollars you can buy? Uh, there are. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Those Be things, sure like, the really expensive ships are like five, six hundred bucks. There are some more expensive ones. Um, they're not as they're not they're some some of them are still concept ships. I'm not sure how much the Odyssey, Odyssey is one of the big new ships they released uh, at the latest uh, Fleet Week or IAE or whatever whatever it's called. I'm not real sure what the price point is on that. One, because I, it's not something I've ever really considered purchasing just yet. But uh, the Carrick, which is another pretty big ship, um, that's one that I that that is available and I believe can be flown. My next ship is, I think, if I'm actually going to spend money, which I don't know that I will, but 
If I was actually going to spend money, my next ship would be the... Uh... What is it? Um... Can't remember. Uh... What is it? A Connie. A Constellation. Constellation Aquila class, I believe, because it comes with a, uh, it comes with a with a starfighter essentially, a snub fighter, and a snub fighter bay, and I think that's a pretty cool. I like the ship within a ship idea. Right. We were able to play in the Fly Free Weekend, and we were able to play a couple of the, uh, the bigger ships, and had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, I could definitely see myself picking up a. Um, a cutlass black cutlass yeah cutlass black soon um it, it's definitely within launch. it's within in-game credit um, amounts not to mention i still don't have this idea like so i i bought my starter ship for 40 bucks and i still have it my aurora m and mr whatever um and then i bought a, a snub nose fighter because i thought that'd be fun to have for 25 bucks but then i was able to use my snubmose fighter to upgrade it to my current ship my my titan for only another 20 bucks so it's like almost like a payment plan huh. uh, you know invest 20 bucks here or there and slowly add to the value of my ship the other one thing would be like um Sorry, I'm trying to maneuver without slowing down and without losing consciousness. <laughs> so very slowly. Hitting that uh, the threshold at the speed. Yeah, yeah, the red bar on the side, you know, like if you're in the red, you can make yourself black out. Oh, you just took off, my friend. I did. If you wanna, if you wanna fly to Hurston, I can meet you there. I just gotta fuel up. You can do that. Yeah. I gotta be able to land and equip my weapons. Now I did do a quest a bit ago, um, where I went to a freelancer wreckage and I had to find five bodies, and. Uh, while there, I was able to loot a couple of their bodies. So I have like a, a an RSI harness that I wouldn't have had before, and some arm, let some like arm armor. But that's all I was able to get. I did have another suit, but um, I guess when I completed the quest, all the stuff I had inside my hold disappeared. So ah, so many bugs like that. That's not detracting me, though, from wanting to play. No, nope, me neither. I mean, I just wish I would have put the suit on before I turned in the quest, because I could have done that, and I would, I'd would i still have it. is real. I found Hurston. I am setting the route. I am about to warp out.
I remember to grab my pistol. Yeah, make sure you grab an extra one for me. Med, med kit? Some armor for yourself. Thurston is a quite a long ways away, so it is. What do you what What do you do when you're flying far distances? Do you do anything else? Uh, I mean, you can get up out of your ship, which is pretty neat. But I mean, as of right now, it's there's really nothing you really do inside your ship. Yeah, it's kind of buggy too, so be careful with that. But yeah, <laughs> right. I've been dumped many a times. Um, I mean, I just like in my in my other screen. I typically have a movie or something going on, on the other 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 monitor. Check uh, check Twitter. While I'm waiting. Okay, well, I'm following you, my friend. Perfect. I'm thirty. A million kilometers away. So what can we expect in this mission, do you think? We've heavy resistance? Uh, well, I actually haven't looked too much into it. I just know that when you get close enough to Hurston, you'll get a personal quest to help the Hurston guard. Try to look at your inventory when you're in your ship. It turns off the engines. <laughs> that is that it does. <laughs> Same key. Which I always kind of find awkward. But. Okay. What's the favorite ship you've flown so far? Uh, probably that Mercury Star Runner, or whatever it was that ship that you and I were on. Yeah. That had the data data breaching. It's a mechanic that's not in the game yet, but it would be kind of exciting to be able to fly up to big ships and, like, sort of hack into them. Right. So Steal some data. We were I was on a mission, a courier mission, where I had to go into a, an abandoned space station and uh, get out of my ship. And uh, when I was out of my ship, I then had to float around inside the space station. Well, when I was doing it, there was no NPCs flying around. Well, all of a sudden, I'm inside the space station, and I hear an explosion. I fly out of the space station and my ship is gone. Thankfully, Ryan comes out and uh, and successfully picks me up and we were able to take off and it was like a rescue mission before I ran out of oxygen. It was a really, I mean, bad experience in a way, but it made for a awesome memory. It was neat. And I wish it would have worked out perfectly, <laughs> well, but it didn't. Well, so one of the bugs we encountered was uh, it, it, it seems like if you're one of the characters out of sync and you're trying to either board a ship or leave a cargo hold of a ship, then uh, your body essentially becomes a missile and it can breach the hull, causing the ship to explode. Now, that's happened to us on more than one occasion when we've been playing. Twice, yeah, at least twice. Right. So hopefully that does not happen this time. I don't know, maybe we should each take our own ship to where we're going. Yeah, I'm fine with that. However, this ship does come equipped with uh, two uh, seats in the back. Your ship just has the one seat in the bed, correct? Yep. One seat in the bed and eight uh, SEU of cargo space. 
which I've not done any cargo running yet. I bought some, but then I never could figure out where to sell it to. I got you. All I've done is uh, really the delivery missions, and uh, I did become wanted somehow. And I was able to uh, work my way out of prison by uh, harvesting some rock, thanks to Ryan's uh, guidance on what to do. I also went through and repaired a what an oxygen tank on a couple levels down in the prison. Now, that was actually a pretty cool experience, because otherwise I couldn't necessarily walk out of prison a free man. Now, what Ryan could have done is he could have flown down in a ship and I could have busted out of prison. Yeah. I would have still been a wanted man, but uh, it would have been a cool experience as well. I think we ought to, yep. we ought to give that a shot sometime and see what happens. Yeah, I definitely like, agree. We should try like the hacking mechanic and hack our... See if we can't use the, the terminals or whatever to clear our names. Right. Well, okay, so here's a... We have a great opportunity for that, by the way, because this... Uh, uh, the uh, whole, like, Hurston mission here, you, you have to, like, identify your targets. You got to do, make sure we don't shoot the guards. And I'll be honest, I don't know which ones are guards and which ones are not, so. So have you done any part of this mission? Nope. Bottom drive is now off. All right, I have made it to Hurston. Is there a, uh, a port that I could land at or anything? Or do you happen to know the name of the station here? Sorry about that. No, you honestly, like the quest should just show up if you're close to Hurston. So are you out of warp? Yep. Okay, so press F1, go down to contracts. Go over to personal. Mercenary. And see if you've got one to help help Hurston guards. And you may not have it yet. It may have to it may take a bit to populate, like pop or whatever. I refit the weapons on my ship. Oh, that's cool. I got rid of the ballistic that would run out of ammo so much and put another laser, repeater laser in my nose. It's a it's a size three weapon. So I got two size twos on either wingtip and a size three. And then four missiles. That's all I got, four missiles. It's one called Peeping Toms. Uh, where you have to, you have the nine tails are fed up with the ops getting busted near a Hurston weapons testing site above aerial. Turns out there's three data skimmers in the area listening in and everything we do. No wonder they're getting busted. Take care of the problem for them, and there's a nice little payday waiting. Just know that you'll need to scan the area since PDC monitors like this are a pain in the ass to find, and they're programmed to package up their data once they're hit, so knock them out quick. Just a heads up sometimes they post up some security guards. To guard security to guard these things to bring a gun or five. Well, yeah, that might work. And all the ones that I'm seeing are the weapons testing sites. I think so. You might just give it a second. Um, maybe land. Fill yeah. up your, fill up your vehicle with. Yeah. Do you know the name of this of the station here? It's always a diamond, isn't it? Uh, there's there's a couple, I think. Um, typically is over like 
the capital. The capital here is Lorville. If you want just to go to the space station, Everest Harbor. seen that. It's a space station? Yeah, do you see Lorville or whatever? No. Um, I don't see any space stations. I see a whole bunch of uh, places on the planet. Possibly you're kind of close. Oh, no, it's on the opposite side of us. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you can't, it's right, ab for whatever reason, it's right above, well, I know why. It's like in a geosynchronous orbit of over Laurel, I believe. So I'm just going to try to go to Laurel. Maybe. Everest Harbor. It looks like maybe it's a little further. I don't know, because the planet orientation is weird. I don't know how to tell you which side it's on. Right. Ah, there it is. Found it. So I'll meet you in Lorville. Sure, do you want to go to Lorville? Sounds good. You've played a lot of this, and you've also played um, oh, what was Elite. It? Elite Dangerous. Yes, thank you. I'm thinking the name for whatever reason. I find this one is less of a simulator than Elite. Was. Yeah, Elite's very much. I mean, Elite. This is... Elite. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say Elite was kind of different. This definitely feels more like a game in that instance. I have no engines. engines. You have no engines. what? Engines. 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 Online. I can't, uh, can't speed up or slow down. There it goes. That might spin wheel all the way down. This game has been in the making for what nine years now. Yeah, I mean it's been a bit. They, I mean, for as much as you know, that that's a long time. But I mean, they have entire planets made. Yes. And that's no easy undertaking. You can't just do that in a, in a couple days or a week. Make the planets with this kind of atmosphere and different, and, and their own gravity and and temperature and, and weather patterns day night cycles i mean it just doesn't happen you know what i mean cities docking stations right. each do each space each station is completely different and each of them have their own i mean eccentricities for each one you know every ship there's just so much in this game that i don't think uh, you know people understand as far as like why it's taking so long i will say i think it's interesting that um man this i can't hardly see the city that's pretty dusty. Um, I think it's pretty interesting that, uh, I mean, not interesting, but like the little bit I've been seeing trying to follow in development now, they have gotten a lot better at, um, like, um, 
being a little more efficient in how they build their things. Like they know, like when they're building ships, they start from the inside out. They do something called a white box sort of thing. They get the whole ship on the inside completely built, just using bigger, bigger boxes. And then they just put the flare sort of on top of it so they can white out a ship in a couple of months. And uh, so the, 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 the idea that is from, from <coughs> inspiration or whatever or concept actually getting in the game has been streamlined considerably. Which is, which is good, I think. There's our spaceport. It's all the way down here. It's not the big building, FYI. Nope. Whoa, I'm spinning. What? That was awful weird. You good? Yeah, my, uh, my Z button isn't working. Okay, I think, is this it? The security contract evaluation? That was totally weird. I lost control of my ship for a second. Another one of the many bugs. Oh, yeah, I got, I, I'm going to have to land, though, is the problem. We're fine. I'm almost out of quantum. Headed in as well. Let's see if I can get the radio on. There we go, landing services. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Like they gave me the smallest hole to land in. Thanks, they guys. do seem like that. Thanks, guys. Auto landing. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Alright. I'm down. Ship refueling. Yeah, I'm looking at contracts. Yeah, I got there's one that I gotta seek out and discreetly kill Rio Kowalski. I saw that one. In, under general, there's a security contract evaluation. Alright. Personnel at Rufus are being threatened by local criminal group and Hurston security is seeking contractors to bolster their defenses. Yeah, this is it. All right. You just got to be careful not to kill Horston. So you want to accept and share? Or do you want me to accept and share? No, you go ahead and accept and share. Did you get it? I did. 
did. Left bracket to accept. All right. You also want to, under General Mercenary, I believe, accept the Call to Arms quest. Because you'll get credit for killing guys that have bounties. Got it. Radio up, so they open the door back up. So I have made that mistake before. Here's my flight seats on the sides. Pilot seat right in the middle. Takes a while to fill up that quantum, huh? It does take a minute. Dang. HDSF Rufus. on the other side of the planet. Okay. I'm going to hit I orbit to fly around. Yep. The problem is, I, don't, I still don't have a pistol. I'll have to hand it to you when we get there, because I can't hand it to you here, because they're selling armistice then. Yeah, that's correct. OM4. Let's see if I can get there from there. Looks like I might be good. Try to look for our objective. If you accepted call to arms after you accepted the other one, you need to go and hit track on it again. HDSF Rufus? Yep, that's where we're going. dark.
There you are, right in front of me. I'm coming up right behind. Bottom drive is now off. Hey, I got a restricted area. Notification. So I'm going to try to get lower to the ground here, right here. Maybe sort of sneaking. Because I have heard that the Hurston ship can sometimes auto fire on your ship. L is the lights, right? Thousand meters out. Ten hostiles remaining. Looks like cloud cover broke around four thousand kilometers. Actually gonna see about parking right here behind these things. Lights aren't working. Oh, there it goes. Not too far away. I hear gunfire. I'm sure, it's not my. Yeah, I'm sure. I see you. Inventory is not loading. I'm gonna freeze to death. Why is that? Well, I don't. I mean, I have my spacesuit, but the temperature drops too fast. All right, open your hatch. I'm gonna run inside your thing so I get the gun. Okay, hatch is open. Oh, it's only 90 degrees Celsius. I thought it was dropping too fast. Yeah, hear the gunfire. I still can't see my inventory. This is not good. All right. I think I just dropped the gun. It's right there. So you got 30 bullets on it? Yep. 13. <clears throat> Let me uh, see if I can get back into my inventory and get the clip. No. 
up. So can't get my inventory. All right, let's do this anyway. Well, you've got your stock standard flight suit on. Yeah. You don't have any inventory on that. Oh, I thought it always just stayed with you. I oh. see. I just learned something today. Yeah, well, today I learned. That's right. It's still at Babbage then, yes? Mm-hmm. You see this auto turn here? Where? So that's what you got to be careful with, because sometimes they'll shoot your shit. Yeah, and I can also man it and shoot you down. Well, don't. let's not do that. Oh. I mean, you can if you want to, I guess. Oh, shit. That was me. I had to fire it. See what happened. Look at you and your big ass gun. I bought this a long time ago. I figure if I lose it, I lose it. Yeah, I got the noisy cricket. Alright, I'm gonna watch this side. How do you crouch? Control. Now remember. Don't shoot the policeman. Sub level one. Oh, other side. Look at the lights, man. This is creepy. Almost when you hear the alien, the Colonial Marines music going on right now. I don't have my epic pens or anything, just so you know. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, God, that's not me. I don't... This Where's guy, he at? This guy does not look like a police officer. Oh, no, I, I, I agree. Take him out. Watch the left. Jesus. My pistol did nothing. Okay, you got the one. Was there a second one? Yeah, I think to the right. But I don't know if he's on his way. <clears throat> okay, let me... I got one minute until I'm dead. This pistol didn't do much to him. Uh, well, he will have, he'll have a gun on his body. Yeah. Okay. So how do I, so I don't want to use this on myself. Is it B? 37 seconds to figure it out. Jesus. Where's he at? I'm getting shot at. Mm. Ten seconds. Oh, shit. It was me. It was hit me, not you. Oh. And his gun just lit me up. I was kind of surprised you went running in there. Surprised what? Because there's a dead guy down there, too. Let's see if I resp I think I'm going to respawn a new Babbage. Jesus. can't see anything. Now, did that say 9 of 10 dead? 8 of 10. All right. Now you killed yours. 
He just killed Who's the, the other guy that I, I killed? Seven of ten. Yep, I'm a new Babbage, man. Kinda hoping I would have spawned with you. Ah, uh, he killed me anyway. Holy shit, dude, that's harder than I thought it would be. By a lot. Almost need like several people to go in there and do that. And we lost all that good shit. I didn't lose nothing. I lost a pistol that you gave me. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a shotgun. I should not have picked up a shotgun. I should have should have kept that LMG, I guess. Can you set out a beacon instead? Yeah, I can hit an M. Actually, no, I can't. Left well, back, I accepted it. I accepted it. Oh, I did do it? Apparently. Oh, yeah, there you go. You got 37 minutes to come rescue me. No. Here's hoping. The good thing is you shouldn't have to grab much because literally there's guns all over the place. You just got to make sure you don't. Yeah, I'm going to put my armor on is really the big thing. Grab a grab a health kit or whatever. I'll try to figure out what button you have to hit to actually hit somebody else. Uh, I missed the tram. Running my game or running a little laggy right now. Now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. Oh my goodness, it's running bad. How you heal someone else.
Alt C. I had to hold the Alt key down when I was looking at you. Well, that's not very good. You think you just hold F on them? Well, that's what I thought, but it just kept wanting me to search your like search your inventory. Then I had like 10 seconds, so I was getting nervous, so I at least tried, and then it didn't work. I Remember, appreciate it. Your belongings I got, belong to you. I got, we got four of them, so there's only six left. I'm going to go to the restroom, fill up my coffee cup. Are you, are you, I don't know, are you flying, or what are you doing? I am uh, 30, 30 seconds away from getting my ship. Sweet. My protect. Did the you get a gun? Nope. Technology. I'm going to pick up the gun on Where your body. Meets innovative creativity. And then I'll get you up. <laughs> there's like, there's like two or three guns before you get to my body. If you want to, if you want to do that, don't take the shotgun. It wasn't very good. Remember, your belongings belong to you. Keep a careful watch on all personal items. I have faith in you. I'll be back. Sounds good. Ready to upgrade? Located in the plaza, the factory line has all of my personal All right, so my upgrades. ship will be at hangar four. So let's make sure I equip the right gear this time. Whoa. Be sure to explore all new Babbage has to offer. Whether it's the latest in cutting edge technology or the beauty of our award winning gardens, this city of tomorrow has a lot going on today. Remember, your belongings belong to you. Keep a careful watch on all personal items. enemies left of 10. I'm on my way to try to pick up Ryan at this point. You can kind of see that uh, distance is uh, pretty severe in this game.
All right, I'm back. Was it Rufus? Yep. Do I need to reshare that quest? Nope, I don't think so. I'm going to say I can't anyway, because I just realized I can't get to anything. How long left on your timer? 27 minutes. Are you uh, in hyperspace? I am. I can tell. It says the... It says, is Parrot accepted the rescue beacon, which would be me, and I don't know if it's because we're in a party or whatever, and is 38 million kilometers away and going down fairly quickly. 38.2, 38 38.1, yep. Yeah. Man, Eric must really hate this game. <laughs> He's going to sit up there by himself and instead of roll down here, at least talk to us. Right. He didn't have to play. He could just hang out, but no. Man, distance is crazy, which is a good thing. I mean, should be, yeah. I mean, we've got one solar system essentially, well, technically a solar system, right? I mean, yeah, because there's your satellite moons and everything, so. And there's only one solar system in the game so far, and I think they're planning on doing several more, is that correct? Or do you know? What's that? Are they planning on doing more solar systems? Yes, Pyro is another solar system that has previously been in other iterations of the of the of the of the Alpha, whatever. Yeah. And has since then been turned off, but now uh, they're saying it's really really close. Um, How far is that jump going to be, though? I don't. It's it's not it's not like this sort of jump. It's like you have to go someplace and like. Hit a warp gate. Yeah, hit a warp gate. I wonder if they're going to do it like you're loading into a different server. Uh, probably. This is one thing I've, you know, we've talked about before as far as like there's only so many people per server and it's not that high. Right, 50 currently, yeah. 50 sort of the the, the high, but the, sometimes they end up with like 60 some. Yeah. I'm just curious as far as like, you know, when you think about games like this, yeah, it's fun playing with your friends, but wouldn't you want more people or do you want it to be only 50 so that way it seems like more of a vast universe and there's not as many people running around? No, I think, so I think the plan so is to have, yeah, I think the, the plan is to have more uh, on the servers. Um, whether some of them are instance in or, or that sort of thing. I think the plan is to have more. It's just um, right now for stability reasons and so forth, they've sort of capped it right. at 50. I, I'm awful surprised, though, each um, each planetary body in surrounding planets isn't just instanced. Yeah. Yeah, where, I mean, that would be... Where the warp time is your loading time to load that... You know what I mean? Right, but I like, oh, excuse me, unlike a lot of games, every part of this, part, or every part of the solar system is accessible. Like, in fact, um, some of the stuff I was talking about re when I was researching some mining, people were like, you know, start at Arc L1 and and tell you know, quantum travel towards Crusader. And when you're 12,000 kilometer or 12 million kilometers or whatever from Crusader, drop out of warp, and there's an asteroid belt that you can, that, that has great, a good place to mine. But like that's, that's not on the map. Like that's, that's literally just floating around out there that most people teleport or quantum drive them straight past. How these guys find it, I have no idea. But hmm. well, how do you drop out of warp? What button does that? 
just uh, hold B. Hold B again. About uh, three and a half million away. How much time you got left? Uh, 22. I think we'll be all right. I think I can get this. Okay, I'm kind of watching people. There's a tank, a heavy, that just walked over my body. And there was another guy that's walking, following him. He's headed towards the front right now. Oh, really? That's not good. Well, I mean, like, I think he's just pathing. Yeah, because he's pathing back, and the tank is now pathing up and around. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just keep my eye on him. You could be my camera. My eyes on the ground. And there's a third guy that just. Oh, something's happening. They're all running around now. You hear gunfire? No, not yet. I mean, like Hurston security should have been here, so. Or I think one of them gunned the other one down. Bottom drive is now off. Okay. final approach around the planet. Okay. All right. 24.4 kilometers away. Tank's headed downstairs. Two other guys are headed towards the main door. The other tank is now headed back downstairs. The guy in the light armor is now headed back towards the back. Hey, I broke cloud cover. Freaking out. Have touchdown. Nice. See, my landing gears are still uh, in the dirt over here. You're going to have to be a little bit sneaky, my friend. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think you'll be okay. 
Do I need to have that mess, uh, med pin in my hand? Uh. Oh, the elevator's I mean, you... down. Oh, here it is. Okay. How do I put the... Be careful, one guy started to walk that direction. Okay, now he's coming back. Uh, what now? How do I put the med pin in my hand? Uh, do you... If you're looking at your inventory screen, do you have like three little circle when you're holding it? Do you have like a circle on your waist? No. Okay, then just oh, drag yeah, it's it. On, it's, on, it's on my hip. But how do I put okay, it in my so hand? just press C. Got it. Then apparently Alt C, but there's two people over my body right now. Okay, let me know when I'm clear because I'm right here. You died where I died, right? Uh, no, I'm a little bit further in. I'm a little bit further in to oh, the oh, right. Oh, I see, I see him. Yeah. I see him. Oh, sh no way. What? Now uh, they're shooting at me. I'd run, my friend. Cause you got all four of them right there with you. No. They get you? No. I accidentally used one of the med pins. I'm riding the elevator back up. My question okay. is, how do I put the med pin away? Uh, maybe R, hold R. Cool. They have not come back, so. Yeah, I want to see if they're going to call the elevator down. I'm going to jump on that gun, that turret, try to blast them when they run into the door. That'd be cool. lower the elevator to see if they'll get on board of it. There, there you go. And then I'm going to raise it back up, see if they're on, top, on, on it. Do you have the number of ones that are still alive? Is it six or ten still? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see two, but I don't see the ones that come back from the other direction. Yeah, I don't see any on this elevator. I don't know how they saw me. I wonder if they saw my headlamp. That was dumb. Should have turned that off. Oh, Jesus. Shooting me through the wall. There must be, the, must, the two that followed you must still be over there. The only thing I can do, man, is I can make a run for it and see if I live. Well. You only live once. You only save Ryan one time. Other than times if we're not. Okay, go go behind. There's a there's a small wall behind here. Oh god, there's a guy right there. I don't know how to use it. I was like, move, get behind cover. Just pick up a gun. Doesn't show me how to use it on you. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, my armor took the brunt of it. He's coming for you. Uh, he's not quite there yet. There he goes. There's a, there's a. Did you run up those stairs? No, I was trying to see if I can grab a gun. Oh, 
times. Well, they all they all went up the stairs. I don't know if they're following you or. Well, that was dumb. Tried to grab an item out of a crate and didn't work. I died. Well, you get you got it. They got gotcha. you. They got me. And I couldn't feel like I was holding Alt and C, and all I could do was a med pin. Yeah, I don't. I must like must be. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing wrong. All right, that was uh, Ryan and I failing miserably at a Hurston quest, and uh, yeah, um, I think this game has a lot going for it, but uh, I think it also has a lot of ways to grow. And the mechanics they can add. What are your final thoughts here, Ryan? I think I think you know. I think we've learned a lesson here. I think we can. It's very doable. I think we just need to you know work together and s slow down and, and be better equipped. Be better equipped. Right. Yep. Me be without my equipped. armor wasn't very good at the beginning. So I think it's good though. I think it's I think it's a good time. I'll figure out how to heal each other if that's what it takes and and go from there. Go from there, yeah. All right, everybody. Until next time, everyone stay safe and take care.